Hello guys, uh, so for today we will discuss the two best uh, tank for progression for campaigns. So we have two on the list. Let's start with um, Athena. So I suggest guys if you already have uh, one uh, DPS damager then you can focus on getting either Athena or Gaia so why Athena or why Gaia so let's start with Athena um, as you can see for her divinity on divinity level 7 we can get this immortality uh, 5 resonance so when killed stun nearby enemies for 3 seconds so for example you have um, Izanami as your main damager or main DPS that 3 second window is enough for Izanami to pop his ultimate and kill all the enemies now same goes with uh, GM and if you have Susano uh, it's the same effect because Susano can also uh, 1v5 enemies so that's the first that's the first thing uh, that is good with Athena next is actually uh, the main uh, gameplay for Athena is his uh, weapon so it's actually the definition of uh, don't die so once you have uh, let's say three, 200 or 300 weapon for your main DPS uh, I think it's best for you to uh, put the remaining um, resources to Athena until at least 300 because uh, as you can see for 100 what you can get is when Aegis of Light shield is destroyed allies recover 10% of their overall lost health what is Aegis of Light? So Aegis of Flight is his ultimate. Um, it will give shield to allies. So as you can see, if your shield ends up, you can gain 10% or you can get back 10% of your lost health. How good is that? It's like um, another healer on your team, right? So for the 200, you can recover 20% and for 300 this is where the good stuff so when Aegis of Light Shield is active increase crit resistance by 20% for allies under its protection um, for campaign um, 20 plus campaign 20 plus all of the enemies are critting like a madman they hit like uh, like a truck always uh, on critical so if you have Athena and you have her weapon to 300 you can live longer you can uh, challenge uh, much higher uh, stages so I'm actually trying to build her right now uh, unfortunately I'm so unlucky I only got uh, two copies extra but I will definitely buy her uh, on this Pantheon and also if there's an event I will make sure to summon her here and get copies of her uh, I, might, I might also get her uh, on the Astrolabe once I hit um, Infinity on Izanami. I need 
three more to hit infinity for Izanami. Once I hit infinity, I'll get Athena next. So let's move on to Gaia, the next uh, best tank in the game. So why do we say next best tank? Nature's forces flow through me. As let's check her divinity. So at divinity level uh, level seven, same as um, Athena. When killed, stun near nearby enemies for three seconds. So it's a good divinity skills. Let's check other skills here. Here, uh, this is good skills as well. How about so? This one con combined with this one, I think that's the best uh, combination. Here, one, two, three. So, those three are the best uh, divinity, divinity skills for Gaia. So, actually, um, the good thing for, for, uh, for this guy is his, uh, his or her I think this is yeah his <laughs> for his ultimate let's check um, let's see her skills I know some of you already know uh, his skills but uh, let me just show you Gaia destruction brings back trial fury. Here. Three hits. Almost half of the map is being uh, hit. Even at the back, um, he is hitting. If uh, he pops his ultimate, the back is also affected. So that's the best uh, thing about this guy. If you add his weapon. Uh, as you can see, if you have her weapon enhanced to um, 300, the last of the primal might will knock targets into the air for 1.5 seconds. So it's like um, you're stunning uh, enemies for 1.5 seconds. So that's the best thing about her, uh, his ultimate. And this is actually uh, a great help for higher um, stages campaigns. If you can pop his ultimate and you have weapon 300 for Gaia, then I think uh, you can challenge uh, more higher stages. Forces flow so me. what equipment will you use for Athena and uh, Gaia so me personally um, what I use for tanks is this one the light rune or the earth rune so you can just pick one but I think the best for uh, Athena is the light because um, it's like a he heal extra healing effect and uh, for Gaia you can also use light or you can also use forest for Gaia because um, you want her, uh, his ultimate to pop right away, right? You can also use this for Athena if you like, if you have high um, weapon already. The light of so, always reflects on my how about artifact, weapon artifact? So you can pick two. One is the Aegis Shield or the Thor's Hammer. So Aegis Shield and Thor's Hammer gives um, the most HP and Aegis, Aegis Shield blocks damage 22% of the time. Good frontliner. Um, how about the uh, Axe? Well, 
the axe is uh, here. While Weir is being attacked, there's a 15% chance the opponent's hit will reduce their attack speed by 64% for uh, 1.5 seconds. So um, there's a slope effect. A chance 50 15 percent chance slow effect but i think if you can get your hands with the shield it's better than the hammer so that's it um just like i told you if you have your main damager already i think it's it's more uh It's more practical to focus on getting a good tank like Gaia and Athena. That's one of my mistakes, so I will be fixing that in the next couple of weeks. I will be I'll try to summon Athena and Gaia. I think um, my damager is all, already enough. He's in a me and GM. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much guys for watching and see you again on my next video. Uh, just comment down below if you have some suggestions or you want something to talk to or if you want um, a guide, uh, just comment down below and we will talk about it and I'll make a video about it. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. Please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.